thoughts I had broken from this dungeon without bars was embarked across to Burgundy in my company, my brother, Gloucester, who from my cabin tempted me to walk upon the hatches. Thence we looked toward England, sighted up a thousand fearful times during the wars of York and Lancaster, and had befallen us. And as we paced along upon the giddy footing of the hatches, we thought that Gloucester stumbled and in falling struck me who thought to stay him overboard into the tumbling billows of the main. Lord, Lord, methought what pain it was to drown. A dreadful noise of waters in my ears. What ugly sights death within my eyes. I thought I saw a thousand fearful wrecks, ten thousand men that fishes gnawed upon. Wedges of gold, great ankles, heaps of pearl, inestimable stones, unvalued jewels all scattered in the bottom of the sea. Some lay in dead men's skulls. And in those holes where eyes did once inhabit, they were crept as to earn scorn of eyes, reflecting gems which wooed the slimy bottom of the deep and mocked the dead bones that lay scattered by. Had you such leisure in the time of death to gaze upon the secrets of the deep? <laughs> And thought I had. And often did I strive to yield the ghost, but still the envious flood kept in my soul and would not let it forth to seek the empty, vast, and wandering air, but smothered it within my panting bulk, which almost burst to belch it into the sea. <sighs> Awakened you not with a sore agony? Oh no, my dream was lengthened after life. <laughs> then began the tempest to my soul, which passed me thought the melancholy flood with that grim ferryman which poets write of, unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs>